yeah, uh, it hasn't been going too bad, you know. Uh, my Crescent Yamaha has been working very good. Um, obviously, my dad's doing my engines and stuff. Uh, so it's been, uh, yeah, it's been tough with the MX2 class being so competitive and what we've got. It's it's been challenging, but we I think we're doing a pretty good job for for what we have. Uh, currently, lying fourth in the British Championship, uh, second in the MX Nationals, and second in the Bridgestone Masters. You know, out of the box, the bike is really good. Uh, it's took a lot of steps forward in the right direction. So yeah, we're we're really happy with it, um, and you know, hopefully, we can uh, finish off a strong season with it. Uh, my first British Championship in the adults was 2004 uh, with Dixon Yamaha, and it's you know it's changed quite a bit since then. You know, obviously there's teams arrived, there's teams gone, um, you know, the race formats has changed and all the rest of it. So it's, uh, I don't know where we're at at the minute. I just think that the, the, the tracks definitely need to be a lot rougher, uh, a lot more technical. Yeah, just keep on pushing. You know, obviously I'm fourth in the British Championship at the minute. Um, I would like to try and get inside the top three. You know, the MX Nationals, I'm only three points off the lead in it. So if I could win it, it would be, it would be really good. The Bridgestone Masters, there's not many points in it, but Everybody wants to win, so uh, you know, with me being the oldest in MX2 class now, it's uh, you know trying to keep all these young guys behind me. It's it's not easy, but you know, I'm, I'm still loving it. I still I still have that fire in my belly to go out and succeed and you know be the best I can be. So um, you know, week in week out, we'll we'll keep putting the work in, and hopefully, you know, we can come out swinging every weekend. Um, I've just been picked for Team Ireland for the 15th consecutive year. Uh, so it, that's always nice, um, you know, it's in Aston this year and a track I've rode before and one I'm looking forward to. Uh, yeah, we've just kind of been ticking away slowly, like obviously I got injured last year and missed near enough for the whole season, so my main goal was to kind of work into it and not get injured basically. Now my confidence is getting better, um, for sure it's bike time as well but then also trying to be smart with training not doing too much coming into the races where before I was always training like hard the Friday and even like yesterday I'd be on a jog or doing something where now Friday Saturday I do nothing you know just put every bit of energy I have into Sunday and it seems to be doing its job you know the last or well, this part of the season has been going really good and that's the only change I've made from my training yeah my plan is to get a, a couple more podiums and then also we're going into hard pack, so we have like Fox Hills and Landrake. Yeah, I'm known as a hard pack rider, so like I'm doing good in the sand, so hopefully hard pack I can be even better, you know, and I'd like to get a race win. That's, now I've got a podium, for sure I'd love to get a race win, you know, it means so much. Um, all the hours training, just to finish the year off on a high would be mega, you know.